Hello, hello, students. It's Shana, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. And I'm back with another daily phrasal verbs lesson. Remember, this month, uh, during the month of February, I'm doing a daily lesson teaching you one phrasal verb per day. But if you want to learn more phrasal verbs, then I recommend that you join my course, which is called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. This course will teach you 500 common phrasal verbs, and you'll learn them by studying them in context, okay? By looking at dialogues, looking at conversations. And this makes it easier and more fun to learn these phrasal verbs. For more information about that, you can click on the link in the video description. You can see a free sample lesson and sign up for the course. All right, let's get started. Today's phrasal verb is bump into. It's actually bump into someone. Now, I have three possible definitions on the board. Only one of these is the correct meaning for bump into someone. So as I'm giving the example and describing the situation, think about which one you think is the right answer and you can post your guess in the comments. So here are our options. Bump into someone. Does it mean to be rude to someone? Does it mean to make plans with someone? Or does it mean to encounter someone unexpectedly? Let me give you the situation. Um, recently, I was at home and my husband was at the supermarket. And then when my husband came home, he said, guess who I bumped into at the supermarket? And I said, I don't know, who? And my husband said, I bumped into John, our old friend from high school. Do you remember him? And I said, oh yeah, John, we haven't seen him in such a long time. How is he doing? And then my husband told me about how John is doing, about his life, and so on. So my husband bumped into John at the supermarket, and then he told me about it later. Based on this situation, what does it mean to bump into someone? To be rude to someone? To make plans with that person? Or to encounter the person unexpectedly? I'll give you a minute to think about it and post your answer in the comments, and then I'll tell you which one is correct. Are you ready to learn the correct answer? Bump into someone means to encounter that person unexpectedly. So in the example that I gave, my husband wasn't expecting or planning to meet our old friend John in the supermarket. They just happened to be there at the same time and they encountered each other or met each other by chance, okay? We often bump into people in places or contexts where we're not expecting to encounter them. So, for example, if I go to the gym and I bump, in, and I bump into uh, my dentist, that would be quite surprising. I'm not planning to meet my dentist at the gym, but I bumped into him there, all right? The word or the phrasal verb bump into is interesting because it actually has two meanings. One is this one I've just described of encountering someone unexpectedly, but bump into can also refer to a physical impact, which is accidental. So let's say you're in the supermarket and you've, you're pushing your shopping cart, but you're not really watching where you're going. Maybe you're distracted or looking at some products and you accidentally bump into the shelf with your shopping cart and a few boxes fall down. So in that case, bump into refers to the accidental physical impact of your cart uh, against the shelf. We can also physically bump into someone if we accidentally collide with them or hit them. Here's an example of that. Let's say you're a university student and you're late for class, so you're running as fast as you can to get to class and you go around a corner and you bump into another student. You physically collide with the other student and both of your books fall onto the floor. That would be an example of bumping into someone physically. All right, so bump into can refer to a, a accidental physical impact or it can be used for encountering someone unexpectedly as in this example of my husband bumping into our old friend John at the supermarket.
Got it. I'd love to see you use this phrasal verb in your own English. So leave a comment and write a sentence using the word bump into. Tell me about a time you bumped into someone. So as an example, I bumped into my dentist at the gym or I went to a concert and I bumped into an old teacher of mine. All right, I'd love to see your sentences. It's very important to put these phrasal verbs into practice so that you can remember them better. Again, if you'd like to learn a lot more phrasal verbs, make sure to check out my course, Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. It's one of the most popular courses at Espresso English. I hope to see you in the course, but if not, I hope you will join me in the next daily phrasal verb lesson. Bye-bye.